saw an old lady with like long gray hair. She called out my name and she said my dad was still alive. What? And I know it can't be true because I watched him die. Nikki, you can lean on me. You have people. Hey, I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. I'm Mickey. Is she your girlfriend? No, no. I'm gonna take this dumpster. Did you guys hear about Ashley? She was supposed to be here yesterday, but she never came. Maybe she's in serious trouble. What were you even doing at that house? You know about Batlady? She's our town boogeyman. She only comes out at night, and she steals children, and she eats them. I'm kidding. You need to drop it, Mickey. You know I can't walk away. He couldn't save his dad. So he's got to save Ashley. Someone would have to enter through this thing out here. I want to do that. I can't remember if I'm claustrophobic. No, I'm, I'm not claustrophobic. I'm do not. you want me to shove you in a locker so we can find out? I, I remembered I actually am claustrophobic. Isn't that funny? This butterfly was connected to your dad and to Ashley. You think he's ready for the truth? He is not ready. We're gonna dig up my father's grave. What are we gonna find? Everybody has secrets, Mickey. If we could get all the security footage the day Ashley disappeared... Yeah, it would definitely be really hard to download every second of every surveillance camera the day Ashley disappeared. I downloaded every second from every surveillance camera on the day Ashley disappeared. How'd you pull You're that? serious. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cherry the Geek TV. I'm Joe Van Orney. Uh, Harlan Coben's Shelter is a new mystery thriller series based on Coben's uh, Mickey Bolitar series of books. Uh, all episodes of Shelter uh, drop globally on Prime Video August 18th, and today we are joined by one of the stars of Shelter. It's one of my favorites, Constance Zimmer. Uh, <laughs> Constance, welcome to Cherry the Geek TV. Hi, thank you, thank you. I'm sure you say that to all of your guests. No, I'm your favorite. Just, <laughs> you are one of my favorites. We're going to get into <laughs> get into it in a little bit, but. Uh, uh, you play uh, the main character, Mickey Bolitar's aunt, uh, Shira Bol uh, Bolitar. Uh, what can you tell us about your character? Uh, how does she fit into the story, and what attracted to you? Uh, what attracted you to this uh, character? Well, I was excited that, oddly enough, that Shira was actually not in the books because it meant that it was a character that Harlan and I could kind of shape and evolve together. Uh, keeping the through line of the story of the things uh, that we needed to present um, and to keep the secrets that needed to be kept. And so you find Shira as pretty much a fish out of water being kind of catapulted back into her um, house where she grew up in with her brothers and uh, with now one of them being gone and having died that she is trying to, I would say, rekindle a little bit of the relationship and the loss of her own family with trying to make up for it with Mickey, uh, which of course is much to her chagrin, a lot of conflict because, you know, people tell different stories. Um, Mickey's only heard one side of what happened to their family and why it kind of broke apart. And so now it's up to Shira to try and create uh, new memories and new bonds, all the while keeping secrets and hiding things from Mickey. So it's a little complicated, I would say. <laughs> There's a lot of um, uh, mysteries in the series, uh, overlapping mysteries, right? Uh, what can you tease for, for those that haven't read the books uh, without giving anything away? Uh, what are kind of the overall overarching uh, mysteries in this series that what do we have going on? Well, I would say first and foremost, you do not have to have read the books to enjoy the show, which is something that I truly appreciate because I always feel sometimes I'm at a loss when I haven't read the book and I'm watching the movie and everyone's like, oh, that wasn't in the book or, oh, what is this? And so one, you don't have to have read the books to enjoy it because it's so fast paced and there is so many people to learn about and 
the characters are going to take you on so many different journeys through their own struggles and then the disappearance of a friend and how then these unlikely friends bond together to try and find that person, which then unravels a whole nother underbelly of secrets and mysteries that the adults know about. And so now the kids are catching up with the adults' secrets. And that's when it's going to get dirty. Now, you said that your character is not in the book. Uh, for those that have read the book, outside of like, you know, adding your character, uh, are there twists or or surprises as far as the mystery goes that that people who have read the books are still going to be surprised by? Or, I think, or yes. That follow that's the mysteries are pretty much true to the book. Well, I think that, yes, yeah, some of them have to be right because of that's the story. So, yes, there are definitely some that are uh, true to the book. And then we've definitely tried to create some new ones. So I think that even people that have read all the books will be hopefully pleasantly surprised by the way that we were able to kind of embellish a little bit more, um, you know, by bringing in new characters or maybe different ways a character is introduced, uh, et cetera. Um, so, I mean, that to me makes it exciting because then even people that have read the book are like, oh, this wasn't in the book. Oh, this is funny or this is interesting or this is scary or what is this? Uh, and, and I just, you know, for me, having only read the first book um, because I wanted to keep everything more mysterious and I didn't want to know all the secrets right away. Uh, it was very exciting for me to find out things um, that kind of go a little bit beyond the first book. We are sadly almost out of time. I will wrap it up with this uh, final question I mentioned at the beginning. I'm a, uh, uh, You're one of my favorites. I am curious to know uh, what attracts you? What do you look for? You've done a lot of different different types of roles. What is the one thing that you look for when you're picking a project? I, is it the character? Is it the the genre? Is it the writers? I know like with some shows like uh, Boston Legal with David E. Kelly and Unreal with Marty Knox, and I think the, the writing, I, I wouldn't even have to read a script beforehand. I'd be like, I'm in safe hands. I'm Sign me up. But but what is it? What, what do you look for? Is it a little bit of everything? For me, it's always character. I, I character above everything because I ultimately can only be responsible for myself and the work that I do. I can't be responsible for the show as a whole. So I have to connect with the character in a way that I know that I can play it to its truest self. So it's always character for me. We can uh, see Constance Zimmer in uh, Harlan Coben's Shelter. All episodes dropping on Prime Video August 18th. Constance, thank you so much for chatting with us today. Thank you so much. <laughs>